Russia's import, substituting IL-1-14300 regional turboprop aircraft, is approaching one of the most decisive moments in its long development journey. According to Vadim Badeka, chief executive officer of the United Aircraft Corporation, the aircraft has already completed 99% of its certification flight program, with only a small number of specialized tests remaining. These final flights depend largely on environmental conditions rather than technical readiness, indicating that the project is now in its closing phase. The IL-1-14300 is expected to become a cornerstone of Russia's regional aviation network, addressing both fleet renewal and technological sovereignty. Designed to operate reliably across vast territories, harsh climates, and underdeveloped airfield infrastructure, the aircraft represents a strategic response to the growing need for domestically produced civil aircraft. Vadim Badeka explained that the remaining certification flights are linked to specific climatic phenomena that cannot be artificially replicated to the required standard. These include airframe icing conditions, operations at extremely low ambient temperatures, and exposure to lightning strikes and thunderstorm activity. He stated that the program is waiting for the appropriate climatic conditions to occur naturally. He explained that tests related to icing, low temperature environments, and lightning exposure are still required, and that these conditions are expected to present themselves in the foreseeable future. Such tests are mandatory for aircraft intended to operate year-round in Russia's diverse and often extreme environments. The IL-1-14300 is designed to serve northern regions, Siberia, and the Far East, where winter temperatures can fall far below the freezing point and weather conditions can change rapidly. Certification authorities require real-world exposure to confirm system reliability, structural integrity, and adequate flight safety margins under these circumstances. Russia's civil aviation regulator has confirmed that virtually all certification work has already been completed. The final remaining tests are scheduled for completion during the first quarter of the year, 2026. Once these flights are concluded and reviewed, the aircraft is expected to receive full-type certification. The head of the Federal Air Transport Agency expressed confidence in the project, stating that the remaining work is purely weather-related and does not indicate unresolved technical problems. He emphasized that regional airlines are eagerly awaiting the aircraft's entry into service, viewing it as a long-overdue replacement for aging fleets that are becoming increasingly expensive and difficult to maintain. Completion of certification will mark both a symbolic and practical achievement for Russia's civil aviation sector. It will demonstrate the country's ability to independently design, test, and certify a modern regional aircraft. The certification program for the IL-114-300 has relied primarily on two test aircraft identified by tail numbers 54115 and 54116. Together, these aircraft have accumulated well over 1,000 flight hours across a broad range of test scenarios. Aircraft 54115 has logged more than 749 flight hours. Aircraft 54116 has accumulated more than 367 flight hours. These flights included performance validation, system testing, handling quality assessments, avionics verification, and long-duration endurance missions. This extensive volume of flight data reflects the depth and rigor of the certification effort. Every major aircraft system, including engines, propellers, navigation equipment, flight controls, and environmental systems, has been evaluated repeatedly under varying operational conditions. One of the most notable recent certification flights took place in late December, when the IL-1-14300 achieved a maximum speed of 580 km per hour. This is significant because the aircraft's published cruising speed is approximately 450 km per hour. This difference highlights a substantial performance reserve, confirming that the aircraft does not operate near its design limits during normal service.
Such a margin is critical for safety, operational flexibility, and performance in adverse conditions such as strong headwinds or operations at high-density altitude environments. The flight lasted slightly more than two hours and reached a maximum altitude of 7,000 meters, which is approximately 7 kilometers above sea level. Conducted at the Zhukovsky Flight Test Center, the sortie focused on validating aerodynamic behavior and propulsion performance at elevated speeds and altitudes. While certification testing is nearing completion, the IL-1-14-300 program has already progressed into its next phase. Serial production has begun at the Lukovitsi aircraft plant, marking the transition from prototype development to full-scale industrial manufacturing. According to leadership at the United Aircraft Corporation, three production aircraft are scheduled for delivery during the year 2026, following certification. These initial aircraft are expected to be delivered to domestic regional airlines, where they will begin regular commercial operations. The early launch of serial production reflects confidence in the aircraft's design maturity and anticipated certification outcome. It also allows manufacturers to refine production workflows, train personnel, and establish supply chains in preparation for higher output volumes. Under Russia's current aviation industry development program, a total of 51 IL-114-300 aircraft are planned for production by the year 2030. Revised targets emphasize realistic output levels and sustainable delivery schedules rather than overly ambitious production volumes. The IL-114-300 occupies a critical niche within this framework. It is designed for short-haul and regional routes where jet aircraft are economically inefficient, particularly in areas with limited passenger demand and challenging infrastructure. As production stabilizes and operational experience grows, manufacturing rates may increase depending on airline demand and the pace of fleet replacement. The IL-114-300 is a modernized version of the original IL-114 turboprop aircraft, updated to contemporary regulatory requirements, operational standards, and passenger comfort expectations. Its primary mission is to replace aircraft that currently dominate regional air routes. These include the AN-24, many of which have been in service for more than 50 years, as well as foreign-built turboprops, such as the ATR-72 and the Bombardier-8. While these aircraft have proven reliable globally, Access to spare parts, maintenance support, and new deliveries has become increasingly constrained. By offering a domestically produced alternative, the IL-1-14-300 aims to ensure continuity of regional air services while reducing reliance on foreign manufacturers. Russia's geography places exceptional demands on regional aviation. Vast distances, sparse populations, extreme climates, and limited ground transportation infrastructure make air travel essential rather than optional in many regions. The IL-1-14-300 has been designed specifically to address these realities. Its turboprop configuration provides strong fuel efficiency on short routes, reliable performance from shorter runways, and dependable operation in cold weather environments. These characteristics make the aircraft well-suited for connecting remote communities with regional centers, supporting economic development, medical access, and social connectivity across the country. Beyond domestic use, Russian officials have repeatedly highlighted the export potential of the IL-1-14-300. Many countries in Asia, Africa, and Latin America operate regional turboprop aircraft under similar conditions, where durability, efficiency, and low operating costs are prioritized over maximum speed. Global demand for turboprop aircraft remains strong, particularly on routes where passenger volumes do not justify jet operations. With competitive pricing, financing options, and long-term manufacturer support, the IL-114-300 could secure a position in this market. However, International success will require more than technical certification. Long-term viability will depend on logistics systems, spare parts availability,
crew training programs, and sustained after-sales support. The IL-114-300 is part of a broader strategy to rebuild and modernize Russia's civil aviation industry. Alongside programs such as the Import Substituted Superjet and the MC-21 family, it reflects a coordinated effort to achieve self-reliance across multiple aircraft categories. Each of these programs targets a specific market segment, with the IL-1-14300 positioned as the backbone of regional connectivity. Together, these aircraft are intended to form a balanced fleet capable of meeting domestic needs under all operating conditions. With certification nearing completion, serial production underway, and first deliveries planned for the year 2026, the IL-114-300 is approaching operational reality. The coming months will focus on completing weather-dependent tests and issuing final certification documentation. For regional airlines, the aircraft offers a long-awaited solution to fleet aging and operational uncertainty. For the aviation industry, it demonstrates that complex civil aircraft programs can progress from development to service even under challenging circumstances. When the IL-114-300 enters regular airline service, it will represent more than the addition of a new aircraft type. It will symbolize the revival of a critical segment of Russian aviation, designed to connect remote regions, endure extreme environments, and operate independently for decades to come. If you liked the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, please take the memberships to encourage us.